All right, today we are going to install some buck rolls in a Wade saddle. Step one, remove your fork screws. I've already removed the one on this side. Um, what fastener that they used is gonna depend on the maker. Um, just make sure you have the right driver for it. Now, the first step, once you've got the, the rolls ready to put on, is to reinstall them through the fork screw holes. Now, if the fork screw holes in the buck rolls don't line up exactly, you may have to put additional holes in the seat of your saddle, but double check it before you start going crazy with it. If you buy buck rolls from me, I'm gonna include some hardware for you, including washers and things like that. So we're here. <clears throat> now, when you lay this into position, pull it tight, you're gonna get an idea of how many wraps you're gonna get across the center in order to get this kind of tighten in place. And on this particular saddle, it looks like it's gonna be about three. So we're gonna wrap from under to over. And now we need to go through the keyhole. Now, if your saddle doesn't have a keyhole, your rolls aren't gonna stay in place very well. And some cowboys solve this by just cutting a hole in their seat. I'd encourage you not to do that if you can avoid it. I'm using a lace pull here because this can be kind of hard to access. It's doable without one. Um, and if you don't have one, you can make one out of an old screwdriver or uh, you can fish it through with some string or something. But this helps. Now I've got this tail underneath that's gonna kind of hold it in the center. Before I pull this tight, I've got to go back and tighten everything down since I've been moving it around. Feed it through. It's going to secure it here. I'm going to go around the top. Now we know it's got to go back through here. This is where your lace pole is going to come in handy again if you want to get it really tight. Go ahead and pull it here. Pull it through. <clears throat> and then go back and tighten all of these wraps. Once your wraps are tight, you drop it through the end and trim this off at whatever length uh, you like. You can trim it off, run it back through this ring, kind of hide it underneath. You can trim it short and leave it right here. But that's gonna give you generally what you need. Now you can go back and clean this up too. You can see there's some overlap and you'll typically move it over, get everything to lay nice and flat, something like that. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.